today we're going to do a two for one. In the last episode, I talked a little bit about the discovery I made by reading this article in The Guardian that my friend sent me that most potato chips strive to be vegetarian and even the meat flavored ones don't use any real animal products in their, in their, in their chips. And it just so happens in going through my big box of chips from the UK, I found a bag that actually does have supposedly beef extract in it. So isn't that an interesting coincidence? I have actually two bags here. I scored these both in my travels in the UK. I bought this Piper's Longhorn Beef Crisps at a bar at a golf course that I was going to exercise with my family in their little gym. And then this other one, this Fairfield Farms, I bought this at this like uh, narrow gauge railroad tourist attraction. They're really into their restoring their vintage steam engines. That's what my, my father and his brother are really into, steam trains. So we did a lot of steam train shit and we took a little trip. You can see some of that stuff on my, somewhere else around here. And I bought this at the little train station. Never heard of any of these brands. The packaging sucks. They're almost identical in design. They both have this little arch on the top. And both of them extol, oh, we grow these potatoes on our family farm and it's sustainable. It's the same fucking shtick that all these little brands are running, you know? And it's like, it's so boring and so indistinguishable. So I'm glad that there's a relationship with these two because I don't necessarily think either of these would make a particularly individually interesting review. But together, with some comparing, it will be fun. Now, what I'm looking for here is to d noticing if the meat one really makes any difference because the Fairfields Farm one is bacon and tomato, and then right underneath it, it says fucking vegan, which, okay, I get it, you know. I know a lot of vegans who like to eat, like, you know, textured proteins, and a lot of the times... For whatever reason, I never understood this about the sort of vegetarian meat world. It's like, why does it have to copy regular meat? Like, why do I need a vegetarian spare ribs or vegetarian chicken McNuggets? Just call it what it is, you know, textured protein, plant protein, and just let it be. Because it never tastes like what it's supposed to taste like. Come on, it's a, it's a stupid joke. And you're choosing not to eat meat, so why are you then trying to, like, replace it with something that's an imitation? I mean, I don't know, just whatever. I mean, I like, I like that kind of stuff, but I, I can call it what it is, because if I want to eat a fucking steak, I'm going to eat it. Anyway, shut up. If it was me, and I was the advertising or the branding person here, I want to put the vegan down here so small, I would have said vegan bacon and tomato flavor, because if I'm a vegetarian and I see bacon, I'm just going to keep it moving. I didn't look all the way down here. Anyway. They didn't hire me, so that's it. But anyway, I don't know how they're going to make it taste like bacon. You remember bacon bits? Well, you know, it, it's like that's just made out of textured soy protein and all kinds of like MSG type things. So I don't know. I'm reading the ingredients here, and it's just like real basic shit. Smoked maltodextrin. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I'm guessing that's where the bacon taste is going to come from. It has potatoes, vegetable oil, rape seed oil. You couldn't come up with a better name. In varying proportions. Oh, okay. Sugar, fuck that. Rice flour, tomato powder, salt, onion. Okay, whatever. You're going to try to make this shit taste like bacon? Why? I don't know. But I'm going to give it a shot. I mean, I used to put like, remember bacos? I used to put those on my salads. It's not even real bacon. But, oh, they're nice looking chips though. Hearty, sort of orangey, russet color with still have the skin on it. Let's see. Well, okay. No, no. A nice chip. I like the the potato itself is very good, but and it has a nice light tomato we flavor. We had like tomato flavored, ketchup flavored. It's kind of all the same, but this tastes nice and wholesome. Um, enjoyable, but I, yep, there's that weird bacon bit taste in the back. It's like smoke flavor. Whatever that is, it's difficult to describe, but maybe, maybe. 
not bad. Really not bad. Actually, I'm looking forward to finishing this, but we got to keep this experiment going. Oh, shit. And move on. And these are the Longhorn Beef Crisps, which actually do have Longhorn Beef Extract in it, which I have no fucking idea what that is. Do I need to know? I'm, I mean, yeah, I would, I'd be curious. But, yeah, it says on the back. Our Longhorn Beef flavor is produced using meat that has been dry aged for 35 days to allow for a more succulent taste. Interesting. All right. Real beef. Hmm. Wow. These are a little browner in hue. I have to a whole different thing. Immediately. It was a good... I mean, it is noticeable. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. I would say... Of all the chips that I've ever had, and I've had quite a few, that say they're meat or beef flavored, this is the only one that actually does it. You know why? Because it actually tastes like fucking steak fat because there's actual fucking meat product in there. This is really something else. Why can't they just do this and, and just say, hey, if you're a vegetarian, don't eat this shit. Who knows? Man, these are satisfying. Wow. Wow. It makes all the difference in the world. You just cannot make... Meat is so weird and just so specific and so complex. You can't fake it. I am I am looking forward to grab a plate to try some of that lab-grown meat, that cloned meat. I would love to try that shit. Who knows if it ever will come close, but that would be fascinating to me. But, all right, that's my judgment. You can't fake this shit. And when you choose to do it, it just slaps really fucking hard. 10 out of 10.